In this video, I will tell you more about encrypting a disk with BitLocker. Watch the first part in one of my videos. It will show you how to encrypt a computer system disk or disk C with BitLocker. To use all functions of BitLocker, a computer should have a TPM microchip, trusted platform module. However, computers without TPM can also use BitLocker encryption. TPM is a special chip containing cryptographic keys for protection of data. You can check if your computer has a TPM module by executing the command tpm.msc, entering it in the run field. Press Windows plus R, enter tpm.msc. In the window TPM Management on Local Computer, you will see if this computer has a compatible tr trusted platform module, if it is enabled and ready to use. If the TPM is available, turned on and adjusted, you can continue to set up encryption. If this computer has a TPM module, but it was not used or initialized before, which we can learn from the menu TPM Management on Local Computer, you should initialize it in order to turn it on. To do it, open Control Panel – BitLocker Drive Encryption. Select Turn on BitLocker next to Disk C. In the opening BitLocker Drive Encryption Setup window, you can see that to encrypt Drive C, the system needs to do two things – turn on security devices for TPM and encrypt the drive. Click Next. For the TPM to turn on, it should restart the computer. Click on Shutdown. After that, the computer turns off. Turn it on again and the system will ask you to press F1 to activate TPM or F2 to cancel activation. After pressing F1, Windows will boot and you will see a BitLocker encryption window showing that the TPM module is enabled. Click Next and go on to Standard Encryption Setup. After the drive encryption is over, you can log into the system by entering your password account to unlock your system and the encrypted drive. You will not have to enter a BitLocker password or a recovery key. It is the main feature of Drive-C encryption on a computer with a TPM module. When trying to boot a computer in any other way, with the use of a bootable USB drive, command prompt, Windows Recovery Environment and so on, you will need to enter a recovery key. All the same, you will need this key when you disconnect this hard disk from your computer and connect it to another PC to copy data. In this way, your system and all data on the system disk are secure against any hacker attack. If the computer doesn't have a TPM module, which we just learned from the TPM management window, you can use the Group Policy Editor to be able to use BitLocker without TPM. So open it, and to do it, press Windows plus R and enter gpedit.msc. Open the left side pane – Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, Windows Components, BitLocker Drive Encryption, Operating System Drives. In the right-hand part, double-click on Require Additional Authentication at Startup. In the window that opens, select Enabled and ensure that the checkbox Allow BitLocker without a compatible TPM requires a password or a startup key on a USB flash drive is enabled. Apply the changes. OK, and close the editor. The local group policy has been edited. You can go on to set up BitLocker. Open Control Panel – BitLocker Drive Encryption. Select Turn on BitLocker next to Disk C. Now we check in computer's configuration. Now choose uh, how to unlock the disk. In this case, let us choose unlocking with a password and click on Enter a password. 
Enter it twice and then click Next. Now choose where to save the recovery key. You cannot save it to the encrypted disk. Until the key is saved, you cannot go on with the setup. In our case, save it to a file. Select uh, where you want to save the recovery key. I save it to a USB drive. Let's check if the key is saved in the proper directory. Next. Depending on your needs, you can choose how to encrypt the disk. You can select one of the options. Encrypt use disk space only, faster and best for new PCs and drives. And encrypt entire drive, slower but best for PCs and drives already in use. Next. In the next window I select new encryption mode, which is best for fixed drives. Next. Before starting the encryption, it is recommended to run a BitLocker system check. It requires a restart, but it is the best way to make sure that TPM, BIOS and USB ports will be used by BitLocker. Next. In the system tray, the BitLocker icon appears, so click on it and on the notification telling you it is necessary to restart the computer and then click on Restart now. The PC will restart and ask you for a password to unlock the disk. Enter it. If everything is alright, the system will boot and the encryption process will begin. To see the drive encryption pro progress, click on BitLocker icon in the system tray. Disk C encryption is over. Close. Now you will have to enter the password every time you need to access disk C, that is, every time you turn on or restart your computer. In the same way as with encrypting disk D or a removable disk, the Manage BitLocker menu will be available. To access it, right-click on the encrypted, encrypted disk and select Manage BitLocker. Next to the encrypted disk C, you will see uh, available management options – suspend protection, backup your recovery key, change password, remove password, turn off BitLocker. In case with a computer having a TPM module, you will not see change password or remove password options. Watch the previous video to see how to disable BitLocker and how to encrypt a non-system or removable disk. Find the link in the description. Now you will have to enter the password you have set in order to log in and unlock the disk. If the password is lost or entered incorrectly several times, you will need a recovery key to unlock the disk. When trying to boot a computer in any other way, you will also need the recovery key. You will also need this key when you disconnect this hard disk from your computer and connect it to another PC to copy data. This way, your system and all data on the system disk are secure against any hacker attack, in the same way as, way as in a computer having a TPM module. That is all for now. If you like this video, click the like button below and subscribe to our channel to see more. We'll be glad to answer any questions in comments. Thank you for watching and good luck!